Mars is a gigantic planet, roughly on the order of half the size of the planet Earth. It will take centuries to terraform Mars. Michio Kaku, a well-known physicist and one of the co-founders of string field theory, has consistently expressed his enthusiasm for space exploration and the numerous possibilities it presents for humanity. Recently, Kaku has drawn attention to a set of fascinating findings made by NASA on Mars, the distant red planet. Among these discoveries is one that has generated significant excitement. So in today's video, we will delve into the details of NASA's latest breakthroughs on Mars and discuss the implications they hold for future missions to the red planet. Number 1. The Unusual Martian Weather Patterns Contrary to previous assumptions, the weather on Mars is far more diverse and intricate than it initially believed. NASA's extensive research using rovers and orbiters has revealed that Mars, often perceived as a stagnant red desert, undergoes a range of weather phenomena, including dust storms, frosts and rapidly shifting atmospheric conditions. The Mars Atmospheric and Volatile Evolution MAVEN mission has played a crucial role in uncovering insights into how the Martian climate changes with the seasons. Instruments on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter MRO, and the Mars Climate Sounder have also provided valuable data on daily and seasonal weather patterns. Similar to Earth's annual pattern, Mars experiences the growth and retreat of polar ice caps composed of carbon dioxide. Additionally, it witnesses the largest dust storms in the solar system, capable of enveloping the entire planet for months. NASA's rovers have detected evidence of frost and snow on Mars, with the Curiosity rover's Rover Environmental Monitoring Station, REMS, identifying humidity and ground frost at the Gale Crater. Further investigations have unveiled the presence of dust devils on Mars, which are larger and more prevalent than their Earthly counterparts. Temperature fluctuations on the planet can swing from a daytime high of 20 degrees Celsius to a frigid minus 73 degrees Celsius at night. Studying Martian weather patterns not only enhances our understanding of the planet's geological history, but also provides vital information for future manned missions to Mars. Accurate weather predictions are essential for selecting suitable landing sites, maintaining equipment and ensuring the safety of astronauts. Number 2. Water discovery. Water, a seemingly abundant resource on Earth, is not readily found in the vast expanse of space. The revelation of water on Mars, therefore, was a significant breakthrough that expanded our understanding of the planet's history and its potential to sustain life. Using advanced imaging techniques and rovers such as the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, Curiosity and Perseverance, scientists have gathered compelling evidence of liquid water in the planet's past and substantial amounts of water ice in the present. Initially, the detection was based on the presence of specific minerals like hematite and gypsum, which typically form in the presence of water on Earth. However, recent years have seen the deployment of advanced ground-penetrating radar tools like the Mars Advanced Radar for Subsurface and Ionosphere Sounding Marsis, aboard the Mars Express spacecraft providing more direct evidence. These tools have discovered vast underground reservoirs of water ice, including a subglacial lake similar to those found beneath Earth's polar ice caps. Mars is also renowned for its prominent and easily accessible polar ice caps, visible even from telescopes on Earth. The southern polar ice cap in particular boasts a permanent water ice cap with a thickness of about 3 kilometres. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter MRO, has provided valuable evidence of extensive subsurface ice deposits in the mid-latitudes of Mars. The orbiter's shallow radar, SHARAD, has revealed layered formations comprising ice, dust and rock, suggesting the potential accessibility of these resources for future astronauts. Researchers have discovered a vast subsurface ice reservoir, equivalent in size to Earth's largest great lake, Lake Superior. These underground ice deposits are shielded from Mars's thin atmosphere by layers of dust and rock, preserving them for potentially millions of years. Remarkably, the ice is relatively pure, with only about 10% of it being mixed with dust. 
More recently, scientists detected signs of a large saltwater lake beneath the ice at Mars's South Pole using the Mars Advanced Radar for subsurface and ionosphere sounding Marsus, aboard the Mars Express spacecraft. By emphasizing these discoveries, Michio Kaku underscores the ever-evolving and intricate nature of space exploration. The existence of water on Mars not only indicates the planet's potential to sustain life, but also reminds us of the vast unexplored mysteries within our own solar system. Number 3. The Mars Quake Phenomenon Michio Kaku in his NASA Martian Exploration announcement revealed an intriguing discovery. The detection of Mars quakes, which are seismic events similar to earthquakes but occurring on Mars. In 2018, NASA's InSight lander was launched and equipped with a specialized instrument called the Seismic Experiment for Interior Structure CEASE. The primary object of this mission was to explore the deep interior of Mars, including the identification and analysis of Mars quakes. Mars quakes play a vital role in understanding the inner structure of the planet, such as the thickness of its crust and the characteristics of its mantle and core. They offer scientists an opportunity to study Mars in a similar manner to how geologists study Earth's interior using earthquakes. The InSight mission has thus far recorded hundreds of Mars quakes. These Mars quakes originate from within the planet itself, as Mars lacks the tectonic plate interactions found on Earth. There are two types of Mars quakes, high frequency and low frequency. High frequency Mars quakes are relatively weaker and closer to the surface, while low frequency Mars quakes are stronger and originate from deeper within the planet. The most significant Mars quake detected thus far registered a magnitude of approximately 4.0 on the Richter scale. Although not as destructive as severe earthquakes on Earth, Mars quakes provide valuable insights into the geological activity of Mars, indicating that it is not a geologically dormant world, but one that experiences internal rumblings. Therefore, Mars quakes contribute to the overall understanding of Mars's geological history and present conditions. Number 4. Clues of Past Life The fascination with the possibility of life existing beyond Earth has captivated scientists for many years. Among the targets in the quest for extraterrestrial life, Mars has emerged as an especially intriguing candidate due to its similarities to Earth's past. NASA's exploration efforts on Mars have yielded promising indications of past life. One notable discovery was made by the Mars rover Curiosity, which detected organic molecules, the fundamental building blocks of life, in sedimentary rocks dating back 3 billion years near the surface. Additionally, the rover observed seasonal fluctuations in methane levels in the Martian atmosphere, a gas primarily produced by living organisms on Earth. Although the presence of these organic molecules does not conclusively prove the existence of past life on Mars, they do suggest the presence of the necessary ingredients for life as we understand it. NASA's Perseverance rover, currently exploring the Jezero crater, has been specifically tasked with searching for more direct evidence of ancient microbial life known as biosignatures. The crater believed to have once been a lake offers a promising location where traces of past life might have been preserved. While these discoveries do not provide definitive confirmation of life on Mars, they contribute valuable pieces to a puzzle that indicates Mars may have once been a hospitable environment for life. The ongoing pursuit of direct evidence of past life on Mars remains one of the most captivating aspects of Martian exploration. Number 5. Martian Night Glow Phenomenon one of the intriguing revelations regarding Mars pertains to its night glow phenomenon. The faint illumination observed in the Martian atmosphere during nighttime, even in the presence of direct sunlight, has been verified by NASA's MAVEN spacecraft. Mars's night glow arises from chemical reactions occurring in its upper atmosphere. When exposed to solar radiation during the day, carbon dioxide molecules split into carbon monoxide and oxygen. During the night, these atoms can combine to form carbon dioxide once again, releasing light energy and generating a glow. The Martian night glow exhibits seasonal variations, reaching its maximum during equinox and its minimum during solstice. Additionally, it displays irregularities, pulsating approximately three times per night. These fluctuations in the night glow contribute to scientists' understanding of Mars's atmospheric circulation patterns. 
The study of Mars's night glow holds significant importance as it provides insight into the planet's atmospheric dynamics, including the circulation of winds at high altitudes and how these patterns change the Martian seasons. Such observations offer valuable clues about Mars's past and present climate. Number 6. Ancient Tsunamis Michio Kaku has highlighted an intriguing and unexpected finding on Mars, the presence of evidence suggesting ancient tsunamis. These discoveries indicate that Mars may not have been the arid planet we currently observe, but rather a world with a significant amount of water. Scientists have identified geological formations on the northern plains of Mars that resemble remnants of massive tsunamis. These formations point to two distinct tsunami events, likely triggered by meteor impacts. The tsunamis would have been extremely powerful, sweeping across the plains and leaving behind substantial boulders and debris. These tsunamis are estimated to have occurred approximately 3.4 billion years ago, during the late Hesperian period of Martian history, a time when Mars is believed to have been cold and icy. As the tsunami waves receded, they would have left behind deposits rich in ice. These tsunami deposits provide additional evidence supporting the hypothesis of an ancient ocean in Mars's northern plains, a concept that has been a topic of scientific debate. If confirmed, this discovery would suggest the existence of a significant amount of water on early Mars, potentially creating habitats suitable for life. The detection of these tsunami deposits also carries implications for the search for past life on Mars. The regions where the tsunamis deposited water and sediment could serve as potential sites to investigate for signs of ancient life. Number 7. Discovery of Organic Molecules Organic molecules, which are carbon-based compounds fundamental to our understanding of life, have been discovered on Mars. This finding implies that the planet may have possessed the necessary foundational elements for life. NASA's Curiosity rover, during its exploration of Gale Crater, identified a range of organic molecules within the ancient lake bed. The rover utilised its Sample Analysis at Mars SAM, suite of instruments, which can heat soil and rock samples to release and identify organic molecules. Among the molecules detected were benzene and propane, which are simple organic compounds that could potentially be linked to larger and more complex molecules. The discovery of organic matter within Gale Crater holds significance due to the crater's past association with a lake that existed billions of years ago. The molecules were found in mudstone, a sedimentary rock formed from mud at the bottom of water bodies, indicating the possibility that life could have thrived during the lake's presence. However, it is important to note that the presence of organic molecules does not definitively prove the existence of life on Mars, as they can also arise through geological processes or be delivered by meteorites. Nonetheless, their presence provides encouraging indications for the potential of past life on the planet. Now, we'd love to hear from you. Share in the comments below which of these findings fascinated you the most.